Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here. How do you feel this morning? Do you feel like you are somebody? I mean, really, you woke up this morning feeling like you are somebody. I remember years ago, there were a lot of people used to walk around with signs. They felt that they were somebody themselves, but uh, others didn't. So they walked around with the signs reading, I am somebody. I am somebody. <clears throat> well, it kind of blew my mind as I got old to thinking about it. It took a sign to say that. Looked like the I am somebody should have been known in other ways. <clears throat> and what those ways were, perhaps, uh, maybe, well, there were good reasons, perhaps, for they were not used. <clears throat> but think about this. In the process of thinking that you're somebody, you go to the doctor because you got a headache. I want you to consider this. <clears throat> And they do a few tests and they find out that you, perhaps you got some lesions inside of your brain somewhere up on your brain. <clears throat> and so they send you to a neurologist or someone and uh, they feel that they might have to do an, an endocrinology process. <clears throat> but what happens is from the time you it is just discovered that there's a lesion there, they want you to wait a period of time to see if something is going to happen, a growth or something, so they will know how to proceed. And you might, might be able to understand that. But the period of time that expires during the process, you go back and then they tell you, well, okay, yes, this is some serious stuff and maybe that's how we can catch it. You know, you're thinking, all this time while I was waiting, isn't that something you could have been doing? So we wouldn't have to be having this emergency right now to, to catch it. Well, you, if you're the victim, you kind of think about that seriously. And uh, others who are not directly feeling the pain or having to go through the change might not bother them that much. <clears throat> I only say that to say this. What good is it? to punish someone after you've given them the chance to grow. In other words, more specifically, why is it that the whole dead blasted world knows that the number 45 broke all the rules and regulations for which others are imprisoned or even given life for? But he's not. Now, you got people who support him, who know that he's wrong, but that's okay because they support the wrongness. That's understandable. But then you got those that do not support what is going on, and yet he is still out there. We talk about bank robbers. When you hear something is going to happen, an act is going to take place, somebody. Uh, hires a hit man to take out their spouse. You, the, the, the system finds out about it, and they get the guy as soon as they get en enough to know that that's what he was going to do, depending upon who he is. Some people, just to know that they said it was going to happen, accuse him, threaten, and that's enough. But here's a guy that lies, and the people buy into the lie. Everybody knows the evidence is there that he's lying and he's supposed to be judged and punished for those lies. But he's not. Yet everybody knows that he's lying. And so every day, every week, every month, throughout the year, starting over, that lie is perpetuated every day, every night, all day, all night, someplace, somewhere. Days, weeks, months, year, and what good would it do you to cut out that cancer now? You cut out that cancer, but the whole body is infected. You cut out the cancer after the whole body has been infected. That appears to be what's happening with the justice system in America. 
it appears as if they are waiting around, everybody watching this guy do everything that everybody else is being punished for. And he's walking around every day trying to find every medium that's open that will give him a chance to stick his neck or his face in there and say something. Yes, I was robbed. I was robbed. I was robbed. They did it to me. They doing it. And you know, whatever lie is okay at that moment in time is a lie that he tells. And every day. And so when you take that cancer out, what has happened? All of that hatred, all of that racism, all of that bigotry that this guy had passed out all over this nation. Now it's in every state. They're taking away the rights of women to do what with their bodies as they choose. <clears throat> They're taking away the rights for people of color to engage themselves in the process to the extent that they, it matters or they have a voice. They're doing anything to take back so they can cause punishment and pain and suffering to other people while they protect themselves. This is what that was all about. So perhaps what we are seeing right here is a system that's doing and proving exactly that. Because Mary Garland, I don't care what you think, this is what's happening. This man is causing a cancer all over this nation. And you sitting back there, I don't know, when I see you, I'm just looking at you. And you're sitting back there allowing this stuff to happen. Why don't you quit? Why don't you resign and give it to somebody else? I mean, just quit and give it and resign. Nobody's going to think anything bad about you. We're just going to say you were a little old. I'm old, so I can call you old. And I know I'm trying to do something, so I know you should be doing something. And when you say you're sitting back waiting, well, all of your waiting is allowing all of these states to do exactly what they're doing. So you're not doing us any good. You might make yourself feel good, but you're not doing us any good. And so I say that to people of color. You can't depend on other folks to protect you. you got to make sure that you protect yourself. <clears throat> and in protecting yourself, you make sure that you do not cause any pain or suffering to anyone else. You don't cause pain and suffering to others just to protect yourself. No. You take the action that will protect yourself. And the action that is, that is just that direct, that will protect yourself at the same time, protects everybody else. Why? Because they don't have anything to fear from you. They don't have any struggles coming from you. They don't have any weight coming from you. So what I'm saying, when you sit at the table negotiating, and I feel that we're just negotiating with human beings about this and that don't make any, mother, any sense. If a white man does not have to register again to vote or nothing like that, no man in America should have to. And the thought of it is pathetic. So I'm saying to you, today, whoever's negotiating in the name of people, in the name of peace, you make sure, I don't care, there's no compromise for that. There is no compromise for one man to call himself a bigger than another and cause pain and suffering to another man, black or white. And same thing for women and men. I don't care if you are a man. You have no reason, no power whatsoever to invoke yourself on someone else and then cause them suffering. No, 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 that stuff doesn't go. So if I, you hear me talking, I get upset sometimes. I might choose some words that don't make sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. No, no, that stuff has got to stop. I'm tired. Look here. Well, we got to go and recertify whether black people are citizens. We got to go back and recertify whether they can vote. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm talking about black and white. What the hell is wrong with you sitting up there negotiating some stuff like that? Either you're a human being or you're not. And I say that every human being on the face of the earth, especially Americans, but everybody else as well, being on this earth entitles you to food to clothing, to shelter, to education, to health care, and any other thing that you can come back. Now, I said this entitles you to it. But now what assures it is that you engage yourself in the process of creating all of this stuff, make you part owner. And God dog it, that is as real as real can be. And who wants to argue with me who will sit back and let 46 dead people die in some truck the other day trying to get away from some hell? Some hellhole on earth looking for someplace else. Well, if we could have hit the last president we had here, they would have put snakes and alligators and a moat to keep you from coming here. Now, how dirty and low down and evil can a person be or a nation be? Well, they stopped that so far, I think. They say over, what, 7,000 people over the past, what, 
22 years of migrants running, trying to get across some border someplace. 650 died in 2021, according to Google. And we're sitting around here talking about some crazy stuff. Some crazy stuff that has no matter whatsoever. And people are dying. And we call ourselves somebody. We call ourselves progressive. We are as the snakes in the jungle, ladies and gentlemen. We are nothing but cobras and vipers. No, I don't know a viper. Now, you know what I'm trying to say about us. Golly. And you know what? We think we somebody. We think we got it going on. You know what we say? We're the best nation on the face of the earth. You know what some of us say? I'm the richest person in America. Some people say I'm the richest person on earth. And you know what? Somebody's on the corner with a sign saying help. And we turn our heads. Some of us turn our heads because we got nothing and wish we could do something. And we're embarrassed and ashamed because we can't. And some of us hurting so bad, we just want to ask somebody for something, but we're ashamed. Do you know that black people used to would not file bankruptcy? Because they were taught that that was evil. They were taught that that was wrong. And so you would hear black people say, I, I'm not, they could be just as out of it. And they know, I'm not filing the bank go bankrupt. And the white person to jump in in a minute. Oh, I can go. Oh, I can file bankruptcy. Let's go. And it's a system, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to know this is an anti-righteous system. Anti-righteous. Sure, there's a lot of things that's going on that supports what's going on, make you want it. That's what they have to do that. That's leading you, guiding you. And each day, it gets farther and farther away from life, farther and farther away from truth for the masses. Now, I'm going to cut that off. I just wanted to share that with you because I just couldn't contain it to myself. So I want you to have a real blessed day thinking about you're not going to be a, a pawn. You're not going to, God didn't, record, didn't make you a pawn. Your being here was not to come here and suffer. Gave you choice if you want to suffer, but see, you don't want to suffer. You're just scared. You're scared because you don't know the truth. Nobody wants to tell you the truth. Anyway, I give you as much as I can. Bye-bye.